Okay, we are recording, we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm um, warming up. We're just gonna do some basic squats to get going here. So drop those hips down and back. Again, anytime you're moving, your core is engaged. You are bracing nice and tight. So for our focus for this, uh, this week was assessments, obviously, from Monday. And then um, adding on, we're gonna reach side to side. And then I just wanna throw that, um, uh, just some functional movement patterns back into our, to the beginning of our camp. We kind of ended with them last session, but I wanna uh, bring them to the forefront this session and add a few more um, kind of anti-rotational movements in as well, just to um, bring a little more focus to our core engagement. So you'll see some of those here. Um, as soon as we get done with our warm up. So side to side, let's go one more on each side. And one between every exercise, every warm up exercise, we're gonna jog in place. So if you have room and you wanna like take an actual jog around your living room or your patio, then that's great. But otherwise we're just gonna jog in place and get our feet moving. If you're a march in place kind of person, that's great too. So get those feet going. All right. Up next is a hip hinge. So fingers behind your ears. Legs are mostly straight, just a micro bend in the knees. Elbows are out to the side. Our focus here is working the back of the body, warming up our hamstrings, glutes, back. Getting ready for all of our hinging movements coming later. Let's do three more. And last one right here, and we're going right back to that jog. So it can just be an easy jog. Doesn't have to get too crazy right away. If you're like, man, I'm warm, I'm ready to rock. You need your knees a little higher. That's fine too. Perfect. Arms are moving just like if you're running outside. We don't hold them straight, we move our whole body. All right, coming up next. So just with your hands only, okay, right at your shoulders, I want you to press up and down, focusing on that downward pull and imagining you have a big heavy weight in your hands, creating some mobility in the shoulders. There we go, perfect. And let's speed it up just a little bit more. Get nice and toasty through our back. You've got four, three, two, and you're jogging in place again. So if you want to go a little bigger with your jog, kick your heels up behind. Continue to pump those arms. Good job. And arms are moving, legs are moving. Try to get your heels all the way to your backside. All right, guys, go ahead and calm it down for a moment. Take both hands together, squat down, reach your hands to one side, all the way up through the middle. Squat and reach the rotational chop. Okay, just waking up that twisting motion in our body. Again, every time you go down, your core engages. As you go up, your butt squeezes. And we'll take two more to each side. Good, last one on each side. And we're jogging again. This time, again, if you wanna go bigger, it's high knees. Okay, you're getting warm. You should be feeling pretty good. Get them up, get them up, get them up. And we've got four, three, Two, we're gonna finish with push-ups. So find yourself on the ground, or if you wanna be elevated, you can put your hands on the table or chair, and you're just gonna knock out 10 push-ups. Elbows, 45 degree angle away from the body. You can do these on your knees. I want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades in the bottom of your movement. And two more, and you know it, we're gonna finish with a jog. So high knee jog. Right back in place here. Very good. All right, a few quick stretches. So roll your shoulders up, back and around. Get those elbows into the motion as well. And arms go all the way up. Ooh, really reach those hands out to the side. Now from the back to the front, all the way up and around. Good job. All right, we're gonna take these down into a couple bootstrappers. So take your hands down towards your ankles or your calves, wherever you can reach, and you're gonna drop down and up. So finding a little more stretching for the hamstrings. And from here, we're gonna squat nice and low, and then arms come all the way up. So swing your arms back, 
Swing them up. Let's try two more. We'll do one more round of bootstrappers here. So get back down. Hips are just low and high. And you can go wider with your feet if that's more comfortable for you. Let's do three and two and one. And then swing those arms. Lift them up high. There you go. It's okay to get a small arch in the back on this one since you're not using any weight. Later on, we're going to do skiers, though, so we'll need to control that movement as that exercise comes along. And done. All right, cross forward and back. Forward and back. All right, so the first round of work, um, you are going to need uh, your mini band or your regular band and your weights. If you don't have weights, you can just use the band the whole time. It's no problem. Um, we're going to do a slow, fast um, combination. So we'll go through some exercises in kind of a slow pattern. I'm going to ask you to speed up, go a little bit faster at the end for 15 seconds. We're going to repeat each exercise two times through. Okay, so if you don't get the first time, second time it's going to make more sense. We're going to stay with those functional movement patterns. So our first one is working on a hinge, uh, a hinge exercise. So we're actually going to be down on the ground first. I know you're thinking we hinge when we stand, but our hips hinge anytime they go back. So find yourself on a mat here. You're going to start here in a, um, a hinge back. shoot yourself forward into a plank. Okay, so rock back, chest is lifted back and straight, and rock forward into a plank, okay? So that's the first part of the exercise, and we're going to add on and give ourselves a tricep push-up in there as well. So it looks like this. Rock forward, go all the way down, okay? Press all the way up, and then rock back. So if you need to do this on your knees, then you just go to your knees. 45 seconds at a slow pace. We're going to speed up. Um, with mountain climbers at the end. So here we go. Ready? And begin. Rock back. Come forward. Tricep push up. And again. Rock back. Forward. And push up. Take your time. Really sending those hips back. Really just pull back. You go down with this tricep push up. Guys, you've got 15 seconds left right here. And if this is a little taxing, you can also say do a child's pose. Hips are still going back, crossing forward and down. Let's do one more. And we're going to go right into our mountain climbers. Ready, set, go. Drive your knees to your body. Mountain climbers. Come on, just 15 seconds. Everybody's going hard and fast. Five seconds to go. And recover. Sit back. Good. I want you to rotate those wrists around. Shake them out. Okay. Very nice. All right. Let's try one more time through. So now you know the move. Get back in the ready position. Again, if you need to be more elevated, you can do this with your hands on a bench or on a couch or something like that. You don't want to be all the way down to the ground. So ready to go. Three, two, one. Hips go back and shoot it forward and drop down. Really send the hips back. Good job, good job. You're feeling those hamstrings contract as you go back. And then hips are strong as you launch forward. Almost there, guys. We got about 10 seconds left right here. You guys are looking good. And last one. And mountain climbers are right here looking at you. 15 seconds. Go, go, go. Come on. Drive the knees in. Almost there. Five seconds to go. And time is up. Rock back and shake out those arms. Good work. Okay. We're going to keep ourselves down toward the ground. We're going to flip over on our backs for a dead bug, okay? So right now, the focus is anti-extension. So we're really working on trying not to arch our back, okay, when we're moving into these dead bug extensions. So they're gonna be nice and slow, just like this. Okay, your legs are at 90 degrees. Find a nice even spot in the grass here. Okay, 90 degrees, you're pressing against your legs. 
You're gonna reach, 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 both arm and leg out, and slowly bring it back in. Then you'll go to the other side. While you're here, you're contracting the abdominals, pressing against your leg as you're extended. We're not arching in any way, shape, or form. So let's go 45 seconds slow. All we're gonna do to speed it up is just take out the push with our leg. Okay, so here, 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 a little faster. Ready? And begin, slow and steady. That push in between each time. And the modification is to take your arm and leg higher instead of out across the floor. It's very taxing on the abdominals. Just draw the abdominals down to the back like this. Okay, but it offers your back a lot of support. Keep it going. Keep in mind your arm that reaches does not have to touch the ground. Reach right past your eyebrows. We are almost there. Remember, we're gonna speed this same thing up. So we're taking out the touch to the leg. Ready, set, and let's go. Out and out. Okay, just 15 seconds. See how coordinated you are. <laughs> almost there. And three, two, and one, lay here and relax, good. I want you to stretch your legs out and arch your back, okay? So we've really worked on not arching the back, so lift it up to give it a stretch, and we're gonna put it right back down, walk your feet back in. We're gonna do it one more time. So same exact exercises, ready? Okay, knees at 90 degrees, press against those legs and begin. Same arm, same leg, and switch to the other side. Yes, actively be thinking about pressing the back to the mat and not allowing it to arch at all. You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Think about it going a little lower and just open in your body. Making sure to press against those knees every time they come in. You've got five seconds left before we pick up the pace. And here we go, a little faster. A little faster. Come on, right till the end. Ah. And you've got five seconds to go. And done. All right, lay right here for a moment. Again, stretch out, lift that low back off the ground, and release. Okay, so coming up next, we are going to stand up. You're going to grab your weights. If you have um, lighter weights, I'm going to ask that you couple them together. We're gonna do a suitcase carry. Okay, this is working on anti-lateral flexion. So lateral flexion means we're going side to side. So we're working on not allowing ourselves to tip to the side. So let me find my weights, they're the same color as the grass. All right, so put your weights in one hand. If you've only got one weight, no problem. Okay, right here. You're gonna walk around with a suitcase carry. You're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. It's not very long, but we're doing it twice, okay? So take a walk right here, walking around. I lied to you, we're actually gonna go 45 seconds on this side and then 45 on the other side, my bad. So, not only, okay, are you fighting, okay, the urge to want to tip over to the side, okay, but you're also creating grip strength here by holding tight to those heavy weights. Right, good job, good job. Now, to speed this movement up, okay, in about 10 seconds, we're gonna do side bends. You guys keep going. Here's what the next move looks like, okay? Side bends, ready, set. You've got 15 seconds on the clock right here and bend to the side and stack yourself back up. Really work that lateral flexion. Come on, ribs right over the hips every single time. Belly button in tight, we're not bobbing our heads. And one more and let's switch to the other side. All right, so grab your weights. Get some good strength. If you don't have any weights, grab a milk jug or something like that. Here we go. Walk it around. Time starts right now. So really fight to keep those shoulder blades pulled together. And when you're walking, maybe you want to walk up and down some stairs. Give yourself some different surfaces to travel through. Good job, you got five seconds left. We'll 
go into that side bend here on the other side. So roll your shoulders back into place and let's go a little faster. Side bends. Come on. Really squeeze through the obliques. You guys are looking awesome. Nice job, nice job. One more time and done. We are gonna do the other side again. So change that grip, okay? Reset the shoulders down and back, okay? Now, this is fairly easy for you. I want you to lower down and then stand back up, okay? So walk a few paces, squat down, and then stand back up. Let's go, time starts right now. You got heavy weights and you might not need to add this option in. squats in every once in a while to challenge yourself. All right, you got five seconds left, everybody, and then we're gonna get those side bends. Ready, set, and here we go. Lateral flexion. Keep your chin tucked in. Go a little further if you can. And here's three and two, one more time, and done. All right, set those weights down. We're gonna come back down to our mat, okay? So, when we get into a plank position, the first thing that we generally tell you as trainers is to keep your hips pointed toward the ground, right? It's real easy, especially as you start moving your arms and legs to get those, uh, to get the hips start rocking. So we're trying to prevent that rotation, so it's the anti-rotational movement here. So, you can be on your knees or you can be on your toes, Okay, and we're gonna reach our hands opposite, or one hand at a time out in front and then set it down real slow. And then the other hand reaches out in front. Now what usually happens, say we reach and our, our hips start to rotate, so we're trying to, to um, counter that rotation by keeping our hips pointed toward the ground, engaging through the core. So slow right there, and then guess what I'm gonna add in? Your plank shoulder taps, so you don't have to do them later today. Okay, plank shoulder taps, looks like this, nice and quick. Transferring the weight side to side. So 45 seconds slow. We'll start in five. Ready, set, and go. Reach, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now maybe you weren't here on Monday. Maybe you don't know about our, our um, add-on challenge, but the add-on challenge for this week is plank shoulder taps. Every day, 10 of them, until next Monday when I give you the next exercise to add on. So lucky you, you get to do them here in about 10 seconds. Ah, if it's getting hard, A, you can go right to your knees. You can even go, A, onto all fours in tabletop if you'd like. Well, let's do one more. All right, we got plank shoulder taps, nice and quick. Reach, reach, tap across your body. 15 seconds, watch those hips. Don't let them rock side to side. Three, two, one, and rock back. Good job, stretch it out. Rock your elbows, rotate your wrists. We gotta go one more time. So let's go ahead and take it down to the ground. This time, okay, we're gonna lift legs off the ground. <laughs> so one leg lifts off the ground, and then we'll switch to the other side. Ready, set, and go. Lift. 
Not quite as hard as reaching the arms off the ground, I find. Okay, but all the same, anytime you're transferring the weight, you gotta counterbalance. Good job, good job, keep it going. Give yourself a real big glute squeeze here every time the leg comes off the ground. If you need to go to your elbows, if it feels better on your wrist to go down to your elbows. Take that as an option. You've only got 15 seconds left right here. Come on, stick with me. I know it's challenging. You've got this though. One more on each side. We're gonna go right back to those plank shoulder taps. Ready, set, everybody up. 15 seconds. Come on. Don't let those hips rock. Fight the rotation. One more on each side. And done. All right, take it on back and stretch it out. Woo! Great job. All right, come to your feet, okay? We are going to bring back that uh, squat and rotate from the warm up. So you're gonna need one weight, maybe two weights, depending on how heavy your weights are today. Looks like this. Okay, with the weight, squat down, rotate to the side and reach all the way up in the center. Now, if overhead doesn't feel good, you're gonna rotate and just curl right through the center. You don't have to go overhead if you don't want to. I'm gonna use a little bit lighter weight today. My neck is a little bit tight, so I'm gonna modify that. So if you have heavy weight, go for it. 45 seconds now to make this faster, okay? It's here and here and here. We're gonna keep it lower to our body. Okay, this is your fast 15 second set. So here we go, low to the ground, overhead, and begin. Good, really finding that rotation. Your whole rib cage is moving. Your knees are pointing forward as you're rotating. Good job, good job. Try to move that weight a little further back towards your hip, if you can. So good for the muscles that support your spine to get this rotational movement in. Remember that option right here, bicep curl instead of overhead, if you need it. You can always slow this down or shorten the range of motion should you need it. One more on each side and get ready guys. We're going nice and low. So it's here and it's here. Kind of just like you're rowing a boat, like a little mini boat. Okay, keep bracing the core. Control that weight. Nice job, nice job. Knees are bent here. And two more on each side. And we've got it. And release, good. Shrug those shoulders up and around. And we'll do it one more time, same thing. So if that was easy, pick up more weight. Ready to rock here in five seconds. Woo! And let's go, side. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the top. Good, controlling this weight in both directions. It's real easy to just let momentum take over, but we wanna use our muscles. Get stronger through every movement. Good job, good job. Chest stays up, so we're not folding ourselves down and rounding our back. Okay, from that side view, looks like this. Good job, five seconds to go. And it is time to speed things up. Ready, set, and let's go. Row your mini boat. Come on, right hip to hip. You can even turn those hands over if you need to. Here's four and three. And one more time and done, all right. Set your weight down, Whew. We're gonna take a few rotations side to side and just loosen up through the back, okay? And this is where your minivan comes in. Our focus now is on a pull down, okay? Let me find my minivan. So, it's a lat pull. Even if you don't have a band, anything you have in your house, so whether it's a towel or anything like that, okay, you could be pulling down with it. So if you have a long band, just kind of wrap your hands in it, that's fine. So the focus here is pulling down. Sorry. Um, straight arm at the top and then elbow pulls down and then right back up. 
okay? So it's a pull, pull, pull. So what you want to be feeling is like mimicking um, a, like a, a, a pull-up, okay? So I know we're not, obviously, we don't have a system set up for pull-ups, but it's a great way to challenge yourself for pull-ups. When we get to the fast movement, okay, we are going to pulse, pulse, pulse right behind our head. Okay, so pulse, 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 just like that. Here we go, 45 seconds. Arms straight up, okay? You're holding tight, one straight up, pull it down. And even if you don't have a band, you can do this with just your arms only. Come on, one arm is pulling down. Pull, pull, pull. The other arm holds straight up. Good job. Okay, if you need to, you can bend your elbows and make that a little bit shorter. Range of motion, that's fine. Feeling those shoulder blades draw together. Good work, good work. Slower the better. And we've got one more. Now both elbows are bending, chin is tucked in. Okay, you're pulling down and together. Almost there. Come on, squeeze through your shoulder blades. And there's four, three, two, one, and release. Good. Go ahead and tip of the hips and round your back and stretch out. You know you gotta do it one more time. All right, here we go. Again, option, no band, no waist, no problem. Otherwise, arms up. Time starts right now. Come on, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Good job. Anybody have a pull-up bar at home that they're working on their pull-ups? Don't want to get one of those guys. I miss our pull up challenge from our evening classes. <sighs> Come on, you've got this. Stay with it. Stay with it. Take a pause if you need to, and then just get right back after it again. <sighs> You're almost there. Just 10 seconds to go. We want to be mindful that we're not sticking our head forward, keeping our chin pulled in. <sighs> All right, guys, last one, and then we are going to take it down and pulse down our back here. So right behind your neck. Come on. You've got this, you've got this. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Ah, once again, round it out, round it out. Okay, for our final functional exercise, moving into push-ups. Okay, we warmed up with some push-ups. These ones are push-up release, okay? They're amazing, and you can do them on your knees if they don't feel amazing for you. So, come down to the ground. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate on my knees. All the way down, okay, we're going to lift our hands off the ground, and then push right back up. You can do these on your toes, all the way down, lift, and then really work on that push back up. That is the focus, is the push from the bottom to the top. Now, to intensify this, you're going to be pulsing from the bottom to the top in a small range for that last 15 seconds. So here we go. We start in three, two, one. Here we go. Take it down. Release from the bottom. Engage your core. Squeeze your butt. Push back up. Take it slow. We're not going to do very many of these because we're going so slow. Pause with those hands off the ground. Contract through the shoulder blades. Remember the option. Knees. Great option here. Even if you need to go to tabletop, okay? You won't be able to take, take your whole body to the floor, but you can rest your head on the floor and release, and then push back up. That one's not quite as comfortable, but it works if you need it. Can we go for five seconds more? Come on. On this next one, I want you to stay in the bottom. From the bottom, press up. Ready? Pull. Pull. Good job. You've got this. Woo! Feeling some burn. Ready? Let's go for five seconds more. Three, two, one, and rock it on back. Nice work. All right, I know everybody wants to do those one more time, right? <laughs> okay, let's try it out. Roll your shoulders, open your chest wide. Ah. Okay, here we go. We start in three seconds. So get back down to the ground. Slow push up. Ready, and go. Release in the bottom. Drive it up quick. Your body's a plank when it comes back up. There's no waving going on. Good 
Now push-ups are bothering your shoulders at all, okay? You want to angle those elbows back towards your hips. They don't need to be at 90 degrees out to the side. I know that's been taught before, okay, but we are going to try to relieve some pressure on the shoulder joint and point our elbows toward our hips. We've got 10 seconds left. Come on, you got this. Woo. And guess what? It is time now to go to the bottom of the range and from the bottom, pulse it up. 15 seconds, you've got this. Come on, baby push-ups. Oh, they're the best. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rock it back. Wow. Okay, that was some intense strength training. Go ahead and round your back. Guess what? We are gonna do a little bit more cardio for this next set. So, what that's gonna look like, well, it's cardio and then a hold, then cardio and a hold, all right? We're gonna go, I go, you go, I go, you go. Does that make sense? Just to change it up a little bit. So, first exercise, okay, is jumping jacks. So, jumping jacks, we know, okay, modification for jacks, our taps to the side, your hold, okay, is right here in a wide squat hold, all right? So, you guys are gonna start with the hold. I'm gonna start with the jumping jacks. We're going 20 seconds on the clock. Ready? You guys are in your hold, set, and go. You're holding, I'm jacking. Okay, you're holding, I'm jacking. There you go. So, you're holding right here. Everybody hold, okay? There you go. Don't worry, it's gonna make sense here in a few moments. All right, you, you go to the jacks and I go to the hold, go. Come on, 20 seconds. Big jacks, bring your heart rate up. We've been doing a lot of strength. So get the body moving. Come on, five seconds, three, two. We're gonna do it again, ready, set, okay. You hold, I jack. Come on, we've got three rounds, okay. We each gonna do this three times. Come on, get low on your hold. If you've got a wall and you wanna do a wall sit, that's great too. Almost there, five seconds. And you go. Come on, big jacks. Get those legs out to the side. Land in your heels. Woo! You guys are looking great. You've got three seconds left. All right, you hold, I go. Get a drink of water while you're holding if you need to, but don't get out of that squat hold. Five seconds left. All right, we're going to finish this off with you jacking. Go. Come on, jack, jack, jack. Tap your fingers overhead. Land on your heels. Good job. Almost there. Final six seconds to go. You guys are doing good. Come on, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Three, two, one, and done. All right. Pick up those heels. Shake it out a little bit. Up next, we're going to scissor our legs. The scissors look like this. Scissor, scissor. That is our cardio movement. Our hold is going to be in a lunge. Okay? So lunge hold. Every time, okay, we're going to alternate legs. We're going to do it two times on each side. Ready? You guys are gonna start with the hold right here. I'm gonna start with the shuffle. And let's go. Okay, shuffle it out. Or I'm shuffling, you're holding. <laughs> there we go. So 90 degree knee bend, you're lunging and holding. And you're up, shuffle those feet. I'm gonna hold my lunge. Good, big shuffle, pump your arms. Pump, pump, pump. Just feel good to shake out those legs after that lunge hold. And five seconds. I want you to hold on your other leg this time. Ready? Hold your other leg. Come on. Get that back heel off the ground. Make sure that you're on your toes, balancing. And you're up, shuffle it out. Woo! You guys look great. 
Option if you don't want lower impact is just heel digs to the front. That's fine too. Come on, stay with it. Last eight seconds. You know we have to do one more on each side. Three, two, one. Okay, go back to your first holding leg while I shuffle. Let's do it. Maybe you want to go a little lower in that lunge. What do you think? If you're holding on to your leg, take your hands out to the side. Five seconds. And you go. Come on, shuffle. Looking good. Let's throw those feet a little bit wider. Woo! Five seconds. Get ready to hold on that last leg. Ready, set, and switch to the other leg. I'm shuffling for my last time. Almost there, five seconds to go. You're gonna get ready to shuffle till the end. Ready, set, and go. Come on, make it big. Bring your heart rate up a little higher. You've got this. Woo! Looking good. We've got only five seconds left right here. Three, two, one, and done. Okay. Woo! All right, kick up those heels a little bit. So, that was just a little fun piece to just let go of some of the functional training that we're doing, but we are going to bring back compound exercises. The so compound exercises are just two exercises put together, generally a little more challenging than some of the stuff we did in the beginning. Um, curl to press is our first one, so you're going to need a set of hand weights, okay? Or if you want to use a band, you could use a large, a long band. So we're going to curl, press, and release, okay? This is a compound accumulator which means we're gonna do a curl to press, and then we'll go back and do curl to press again and add throw and fly, okay? And I'll go, that, I'll go through that here. I'm gonna make sure my computer doesn't fly off the stand here. It's getting windy outside. He's over by me, it is. Okay, so you've got 30 seconds for every exercise, every compound exercise. I'll walk you right on through. And begin, okay? So it's curl, press. It does not have to be fast. This is a slow burn, okay, where we take very short breaks to get to the next exercise. Good job. If you want to walk around while you're doing this, that's fine. I love to move around while I'm doing weight training if it's works with what I'm doing. Just making sure you're controlling in both directions. And time is up, okay? Roll those shoulders back. Watch here, next move. Row and fly, okay? So elbows come up, row and fly. Ready, set. We're gonna start with the curl press and then go to the row fly. Here it goes, ready? And begin, curl press. Remember it's an accumulator. I know you're thinking, why are we doing this again? We're gonna do it a lot, so get used to it. If at any time the overhead becomes too much, okay, then I want you to just stick with bicep curls. That's a great option if overhead becomes too much. All right, getting ready here. You got three seconds, and then we're gonna go right into that row fly. And begin right now, row fly. Okay, so row. Fly. Finish each move before you go to the next one. Come on. Ah. Good work, good work. You should be feeling this in your back. Option, one arm at a time if you need it. And again, if it's too taxing on the upper body, just rows only. Come on, let's do two more. You got this. And last one, and done. All right, set the weights down for just a moment. Next exercise, okay, skiers. Like I said, we practice this in the warm-up. You're gonna hold the weights. You're gonna squat down with the weights going back, and then they go straight up overhead. So, pushing the weights back, pushing overhead. 
like I said, we start with the bicep curled overhead press. Here's is our third exercise. So three, two, one, begin. Ready, curl, press. And these sets just get longer and longer, but you are getting stronger every single time. You're building muscular endurance right here. Good work, good work. Remember, you can take the weights out of your hands and just do the arms if you need to. Come on. Coming up next is the row, okay? Run and fly, here we go. Row, fly. Come on, right after it, row, fly. And you can track those shoulder blades together just a little bit tighter. Ah. Bend your knee, hinging at the hips. Come on, you got 10 seconds left, we've got this. Okay, you can shorten your fly if you need to by bending your elbows to the side and release. Skiers are next. So, squat down, press your hands back and squeeze your butt to stand up. It's a slow movement. We are not using momentum, okay? Good job, good job, you've got this. Ah, almost there. Final 10 seconds. Great work, great work. One more time and a recovery. Set your weights down. Okay, so coming your way. Alternating side lunges. So one or both weights, totally up to you. You're gonna side lunge here. The inside leg is straight and outside leg is bent. You're gonna pull through the middle, upright row. Okay, side lunge, pull through the middle. You wanna use both weights, you're welcome to do that. Okay, so starting from the beginning, Bicep curl, row, skiers, and then finish with the side lunge. Here we go. Bicep curl, the overhead press, and begin. Right here, curl, press, woo. Now that you're in your fourth round of these, you're probably feeling it. That's good stuff. Come on, stay with it. Final 10 seconds of this exercise. Ugh. Almost there. What's next? It's the row and the fly. Go. Row. Fly. Come on. Squeeze. Tuck your chin in a little bit. Sometimes we like to throw our head back. But we want our necks nice and straight. Good posture. Yes. Come on, give me 10 seconds more. These eight pound weights are starting to feel heavy. <laughs> you got this. You got it. Almost there. And time is up. All right, guys, skiers are next. Skiers are next. Here we go. Squat and extend. Come on, we got it. Remember, control movement, both directions. You should feel your back working as those arms go straight up. Option, arms right out in front if you don't want to go overhead. Come on, let's get two more in. Last one, and done. Okay, finish it up with your side lunge and upright row, go. Side lunge, pull. Side lunge, pull. Doing great. As you pull that weight up, or weights up, squeeze your back. Nice job, 10 seconds left. Think about your knee as you go to the side. Line it up with your toes. Time is up. All right, that wasn't so bad. Good job, let's get a quick drink of water before we move on. Let me check the time here. Woo, perfect timing. So get your drink of water. Balance is next, okay? So we're gonna begin with pistol squats. So if, I, if you need to hold on to something, okay, you could do that, a table, a chair, 
couch, whatever you'd like. Pistol squats look like this. You're gonna stand on one leg with the other leg out in front of you. Okay, arms are, I prefer arms out in front if possible. Okay, they do help offset your balance. And you're gonna go down as low as you can and then right back up, okay? Again, getting dusty, I'm gonna hold my computer. All right, so we are gonna to try to do five on each leg. So reach your leg out, send your hips back, okay, nice and low, and squeeze back up. So the idea is that your knee stays behind your toes, okay, when you're in the bottom of that range. I know okay, it's a little awkward, but this is great for knee stability. Good. And one more on this side. You can hold on to something if you need to. And we're gonna switch to the other side. So, anchor yourself down. One side is bound to be stronger than the other. Okay, better balance, that's okay. That's why we do unilateral work. So hips back and drive it up. Take your time going down. Okay, pay attention to which leg is a little stronger than the other. Which one, maybe your knee wobbles more. Okay, and then on that weak leg, give it a little extra control on the way down. And one more time. Guess what? We're going to do it again. This time we're going to send our leg out to the side. So, again, if you want to hold on to something, you can. Send your leg out to the side and then right back up. Your kneecap points to your toes. Five of these guys. Hips are back like you're sitting down. If you need to, tap your toe to the side. That's fine. Two more. And good, last one right here. Work it, work it, work it. And switch to the other side. Woo! Here we go. Slow and steady. Yep. You can see my knees are wobbling. That's okay. Hitting strong connective tissue. Good job. Two more. Okay, creating strong ankles, strong feet, okay, that are gripping the floor, balancing. Nice job. And done. All right. Next set of balance work. Looks like this. One leg off the ground. Okay. It's going to be kind of a slow runner. All right. Looks like this. You're going to get bend your knee. Up. <laughs> and slow runner. Okay. So try not to tap your toe to the ground if you don't have to. But if you do need to, then you can tap to the ground and then drive back up. Five on each side. Ready? Set. And here we go. Opposite arm to leg. We're working cross lateral training. Always good for the brain. Hips are going back. If you need to tap through the middle, you can. It's okay. And one more time. Good. And switch to the other side. Whew. Here we go. Slow and steady. Take it down. Stand tall at the top. This is my side that's a little weak, so it's gonna be wobbly. And two more. And that last one right here. And we are done. All right, balance work is done. Shake out those hips. We're gonna use our mat for a little bit of yoga flow. So, good way to stretch out after the workout. Bring our heart rate down. Don't lay on the ground. Just come to the end of your mat, okay? If you don't want to use your mat, you don't have to, that's fine. I may end up taking mine off to the side of it. And then let those hands hang down by your side. And no. Good, walk your hands up to your thighs and flatten out your back. From here, we're gonna walk ourselves out into a downward facing dog. So hands shoulder distance, hips are high. You can let those heels melt toward the ground. And we're gonna lift our right leg up, right leg up, rotate your ankle. And then step your right leg through into a lunge, okay? Back leg is straight in this lunge. Now drop your back knee down. Right. And we're gonna take our right arm and rotate toward our right leg. And set that hand back down. Good. 
Good. Lift your back knee off of the ground. Soften the knee and come up into a high lunge right here. All right, we're gonna bend at the hips here, take our hands toward the ground. Back leg comes in into a crouch. Okay, and then back leg will lift up into a standing split. Set that leg back down into a lunge. Return to a downward facing dog. And walk your hands back towards your feet. And we're gonna roll it on up and repeat on the other side. So flat back, hinging at the hips. Reach your arms nice and long. And then hands by the feet. Shake your head yes or no. Maybe circle it around if it feels good. And then walk the hands up to the thighs, flat back. Good. Walk your hands out to a downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment. Really think about letting your chest melt into your thighs. And then lift your left leg off the ground. Rotate your ankle around. Send it through into a lunge. And lower the back knee to the ground. Left arm opens up to the left side. And both hands back to the ground. Lift your back knee off your mat and both arms come up into a high lunge. Bring our hands back to the ground, bring our back foot in, crouch down, and then lift your back leg up into the standing split and hold. And send that foot back into a lunge, and both hands on the mat, rock back into a downward facing dog. All right, we're going to add a little bit more here. So, <laughs> right leg is going to step forward, okay, into a lunge. To bring your hands up to your thigh. Okay, turn your back foot a quarter turn into a warrior and fold. Good. We're going to straighten our front leg and then just hinge at our hip and reach on down. If you can't reach the floor, then reach to your, your shin, maybe your knee, your ankle. Just open up. And release. Pivot on your back foot. Both hands to the ground, come back into a downward facing dog, and let's switch to the other side, lunge, and come all the way up, okay, turn, pivot to your toes, quarter turn to back, open out into a warrior, straighten your front leg, and hinge over at the hips into triangle, And pivot on your back toes, come back down, and send that leg back into a downward facing dog. And we're gonna drop our knees to the mat, walk our hands underneath our shoulders, and round through our back. Now walk your knees to the edges of your mat, your toes are in, okay? Just gently come to your elbows, let your hips drop, Rock back to a child's pose. Take your right hand, reach it toward the end of your mat. And then release that hand back in. Left arm reaches to the end of the mat. And bring it back in. Good job. Go ahead and come up. And let's take our head to one side, press our hands down and gently drop the chin down in front. Take your head to the other side. And gently drop it down in front. And roll your shoulders up, back, and around. And let's take a big inhale all the way up. Mm. And you guys are all done. Great job on a Wednesday night. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember that um, we have our add-on, everyday add-on challenge is plank shoulder taps. We did those in the workout, so 10 on each side every day. And then also we're really um, trying to really be aware of 
pre-planning our food for the day, not just our, our dinners, but everything that we're planning on eating throughout the day. We're really trying to um, either write it down or just make a mental note of it or prepare it in your fridge. It's ready to go, okay? So that is your challenge for the rest of the week and hopefully forever, but <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for, okay? So I'm gonna unmute you guys here. <clears throat> Do you guys have any questions or any concerns or anything like that regarding uh, being on Zoom or the workouts or anything like that? Nope. No, I really like the extra stretching we're doing, the yoga flow at the end, that, that helps a lot. Okay, good, I'll keep that up. I like it too, it feels great. <laughs> yeah. I love Heather doing it because she's our yoga instructor. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm totally an imposter when it comes to yoga. So that's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. Leslie, how you feeling? Good? All right. Not too hard to move on into this week? No, it's good. I've got some catching up to do, but that's on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, great, you guys. Well, these are going to be uploaded for you guys, um, and you can do them on the playlist whenever you, whenever you want to, or if you miss, then they'll be there hopefully within the hour. Um, after class is over so um yeah i'll send a blog out for you guys on friday morning and um, victoria emmett writes the blog and so she's an amazing dietitian that um used to work for the city and the county so you guys know her and so she helps me out with that but there'll be some more details about um again like prepping um pre-prepping and pre-planning for the week okay Great. Great. thank you thank you guys have a good day. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks.